hey guys welcome back to my another video in this video i'm going to show you how we can use the a uh, concat all and concat map in a concat it should be concat concat map in a previous video i already show you how we can use a switch all switch map merge all and merge map if you guys didn't check the previous video please go ahead and check you guys will uh, you will know that how we can use this uh, this operator as well in rxjs and in this video i'm going to show you that how we can use the uh, concat uh, map and concat all okay actually it will not delay on response basically the concat all will uh concat all will finish the complete basically complete the the observables uh, and then proceed to the next one next one next one it's, it's the same thing for both of it so basically what the concat all does is if there is a two uh flattening uh it, this all are this uh flattening operator concat all switch map switch all switch map right merge all merge map so when when we should use a flattening operator is basically if there is two observables right and you need to do a subscribe to get a data and you need to get another subscribe to, to uh, get to get a data then you can use a flattening operator operator to get rid of that uh, double subscriptions right so we can use of this but there are many more of the flattening operators so which one you use right so in in, in merge all i already show was what's a merge all you can check and switch all I already show you what it does. So in concat all, what it really does is it will wait. It will wait until the the first observable is complete. If the first observable is complete, then it can go to the next one. Okay, uh, and when it's done, uh, then it's gonna show up. I mean, whenever it's complete, it show the data. But whenever next is complete, then it shows the data. I'm gonna show you that's everything in this example, so don't worry about that. So I'm going back on this uh, the uh, the VS Code here, and I will open the uh, the app component, and this is my console here in the back with the app component. I'm gonna make this a little bigger here, so you guys can see well. Uh, it's pretty too big, but it's fine. I can handle it on this uh, videos video. So now the first thing is let me implement implement the the on init function here okay and let me uh sorry on implement on init interface so let me get this on init ng on init function here okay so the first thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let me create one of the uh the array here maybe uh, your food could be uh, this exact same thing i created in the previous video but uh, there are some guys uh, who only want to know about this so i'll just create this quickly this array here right pizza sandwich and, and burger so basically this is a one array right and i need to change this array to observables so to to, to change this array to observables uh, we can use the, the from operator right from it's a creation in uh, in in RxJS. Oh, so one of the creation. So we could create uh, using a from operator, from 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 RxJS, and I will import this from RxJS, not from operators. It's inside the RxJS, and I'm going to use this food here. So now this became my observables. How I know is of course in observables uh, we can do a subscribe and we can get the data, right? So let me do a subscribe and get the data first. So I will print it out this data here. Okay, so now I can see my data on the back here. Here it is pizza, sandwich, and burger is exact same data that is printing out here, which is good. So let me create another function called get get data. Doesn't even matter, uh, and this will return me a string for now. And this, I use exactly the same example which I used in previous one. So I will get some the food here and I will concatenate it with I love it. And I will put it here. And now I will use this get data functions here in a food observables using the pipe function. And inside the pipe, we can use the operator called map. And map is also the one of the operator where we can uh, change our data to uh, change our data. Yeah, whoever do a subscribe, we'll just change it. We'll just change it here in map. 
So map is also one of the operator and I need to import this from RxJS operator here. Okay, RxJS is called the operators and this is a map. Okay, so once I get a map, then I can use D as a data here. So I will return the same exact data and of course I can do a uh, subscribe here. Subscribe and I can print it out this subscribe here, okay? So what happened if I change it? I know I make some space here, uh, but it's fine. It's getting a same exact data, but if I change something here, like test, right? If I can't get in with each of these, of these, uh data observables then yep i can use i can concatenate it with this and map will return on on this function here in the back of this and in subscribe we will give uh, the change data what we can use it here but instead of here i'll use uh, this dot get data and i will provide the food which is going to be d right here from the D and yep now it says a pizza I love it right sandwich I love it burger I love it something like that right so now we just looks everything's good so far so in this video we're going to talk about the of course the concat uh, all and concat map so we already shows how we can use this map here right we can cut in the data so these are the flatten operator that means you need to have a two observables and if you can change two observables in one so let's assume here in the string instead of this we are getting some data from the api or this is some kind of observables so i can make this observable using the off operator so now this is our observables so if i this is observable so the map will return me observables and when i subscribe then what i got is observable object we didn't get even data here, but we really want that data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna need to do a double subscribe here, okay? We need to do a double subscribe because we're getting a two datas and we need to do double subscribe. Now we got a data, which is good. But this is not so good because we are re repeating our subscriptions here. To get rid of this problem, we could use the flattening operator here. So there are multiple flattening operator. You can use it based on what you want. But this time I'm going to use this concat. Okay. So in this concat all, so I'll use a concat all here. And I need to use inside this pipe operator here because this is also one of the operator here inside the pipe. Sorry, not operator. Sorry, pipe function here. So let me use a concat all. So if I use a concat all now, what happened is basically now it give me an error because I don't need to do a double subscribe at all because this will make as only one subscribe here. So I can print this what's inside this data. So as you guys can see, it's printing perfectly fine. Pizza, sandwich, I love it. It just looks great, right? It looks great. But it, the merge all also do exact same thing, right? Merge all also do exact same thing. If you guys didn't check previous video, please go ahead. But anyway, the merge all also do exactly the same thing. So what's the difference between merge and concat now? I mean, we could use a merge. The only difference is if it's delayed, then what happened, right? I could use a pipe here. If the, the second observable is delay uh, maybe it will take a time to come back that they return me a data like I said one minute then one sorry, one second then what happened as you can see the difference here I mean in the concat when we use a concat then you will get the first data and it's print out quickly I mean you can't go for the next data without the first data print out it's a similar like ATM machine you are in the ATM and you want to get a, take the money out, but you have somebody uh, before you, <laughs> and he, and after the the guy who finishes before you, then uh, then you need to go and you need to take the money out, right? That's how the coin can work. That means it will run the observables and it will execute the first one and it will go for the next one and it will execute the next one it will go for the first one as you guys can see this guy but if you use a merge all then what happened it will wait everybody take the money out at the same time right and when if it's an atm but that doesn't work in the real world but anyway but that how it works the every all the data should return and it will print it out right that's how the merge all works 
but if you use a concat then it will execute by a step by step right the first step is done then next and and the next that's how it, this guy work man and if you guys wants to use the map and concat all that's great you can can use it but instead of map and concat all you can also use the concat mapped directly so you don't have to use a map or map or sorry concat all stuff like that you guys can use a concat map directly and you can scan get the same result but of course you have to have a little delay so it will wait until the first one is complete right and it's going to print it out soon too so this is uh, the difference between the concat map and merge map i just talked about a little bit of merge map too but uh, yeah i hope you guys learned something new i'm going to put this code inside this video if you guys learned something new please do subscribe and like my channel and thank you very much for watching guys cheers bye